from Peninsula TV Studios in San Carlos, SBC, the San Mateo Credit Union, Wells Fargo, and Oracle present this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you so much. Welcome to Quiz Kids, the show where teams from over 40 Bay Area high schools compete for incredible prizes. They're going to use all their speed, knowledge, and collaboration. We have two great teams over here from Daly City, the Westmore Rams. <laughs> And they are going to butt heads with the Woodside High School Wildcats. So let's take these two elegantly costumed teams and play the collaboration round. Welcome, teams. In this first round, you will play as a team. I have a series of questions here. I will ask your team a question, give you 10 seconds to collaborate, and then your captain, Melanie or Tim, will give me the answer you think is correct. If it is correct, you will earn 10 points. If it is not correct, the other team gets a chance to collaborate and possibly steal those points away from you. We'll play back and forth until the buzzer signals the end of the first round, okay? Good luck to both teams. And Westmore gets the first question. 200 years ago, after the big real estate deal with France, President Jefferson sent what pair of explorers to chart the Louisiana Purchase? Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark is right. Yay. First established in Germany, it developed in the U.S. through the efforts of Elizabeth P. Peabody. Today, some parents leave off their kids for half a day, sometimes the whole day, at no expense in public institutions. Name this half day for six-year-old children in grade zero. Kindergarten. Kindergarten? Kindergarten is right. <laughs> Roughly 10,000 kilometers deep, it can be viewed in filtered light such as H-alpha or as the result of a specific phenomenon. Just above the sun's photosphere is what colorful layer of its surface, only visible to us during solar eclipses? Penumbra? No, I'm sorry, that's not correct, Melanie. You can steal, Wildcats. Corona? No, the chromosphere. Here's your next question, though, Woodside. Please indicate the units in your answer. There are two concentric circles, one of radius 12 centimeters and the smaller of radius 6 centimeters. In terms of pi, what is the area of the ring outside the small circle within the larger one? What is... Um... <laughs> 108 pi. I need more than that. Squared. Can I accept that, Judge? Okay, 108 pi centimeters squared. Good, thank you. <laughs> Even before the Stepford Wives, all was not well in the Connecticut suburbs. Once a year, everyone gets a token and the loser is stoned to death in the center of the green in what author's short story, The Lottery? Um, we don't know. Don't know. Can you steal it, Tim? Uh, is her first name Shirley? I don't know. Her name is Shirley, but we need L. the last name. L. It is Jackson. Shirley Jackson, one of my favorite spooky authors. But you get the next question. In the first of these games after the leagues merged, Baltimore defeated Oakland. Last year, in what game did New England defeat Indianapolis to move on to the Super Bowl? What was the AFC Championship? That's right. <laughs> Okay, Rams, the closest linguistic relatives to this country's language are Finnish, Estonian, and certain Siberian languages. Name this Central European nation whose capital city is a merger of two communities on opposing sides of the Danube. Melanie. Um, Germany? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal, Tim. Do you remember what they're looking for? Uh, no. 
Austria? No, my grandfather was born in Buda, Budapest, Hungary. This character's role in a certain trilogy of movies had to be greatly reduced in the second and third movies because audiences either could not understand him or hated him. Name this Star Wars character, the object of websites enlisting his destruction. Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks. That's right, Jar Jar Binks. I personally think that Jar Jar Binks gets a bum rap. But let's look at the score at the end of this. I show Westmore with 10 and Woodside with 40 points. Oh, we've got the fans here, and we will continue to play and meet our players after these messages, so don't go away. got the Westmore Rams here and Captain Melanie Aguas. Melanie, is this your third or fourth year with Christmas? Um, my third year. Your third year, and you've moved steadily to the front of the line. You're now our captain, and you're a senior. Yes. And you do all kinds of things outside of just classwork at, at Westmore, and one of the things you're doing this year is you are the service commissioner. Mm -hmm. What does the service commissioner do at Westmore? Um, the service commissioner basically helps um, the school in many ways in terms of keeping it safe and clean and like if like back to school night or if there's a new student, service commissioners are the ones who help. Do you run recycling think, programs um, or? Yeah. You do? So all those kinds of things that kind of benefit in a non-academic way, service commission will have a team working on that. That's great. Well, have a great time today. Alfred Vong, we have on both teams in the center spot, the little brother of a former quiz kid. And you are, I mean, I, I looked, I said, you remember how to play this and didn't realize you were not your brother Alvin. Although you seem to have a lot of the same interests and you have a kind of competitive nature with Alvin. Yeah, yes I do. Uh, in school, we compete against each other of who could do better. And right now we're pretty much level-headed, so I'm hoping to actually beat him in by, high, by the end of high school. Well, you've got three years yes. to be as good or better than Alvin. Where is Alvin now? Well, right now he's going to Berkeley. Well, you give him our best, okay? Nathan Yan, you're a junior. Uh -huh. um, you founded the Journalism Club, which I think is very interesting why the Journalism Club even came into being last year, because you were a sophomore last year. But why did you create this club? Well, basically it was just, um, well, because we do have an official school newspaper and it's part of a class with a yearbook. And we just wanted to, uh, you know, just give all the students opportunity where, they, you know, they were freshmen or sophomores, or uh, to just, uh, you know, write on a newspaper without, um, you know, being part of a class, having so to be part of and sophomores don't get to be in the class. Yeah, it's, it was really hard for the underclassmen to get into okay. publications. So you published your own paper for the underclassmen to have an opportunity to do some journalistic endeavors. Yeah. You did two issues last year. Mm -hmm. Is it more underground, kind of gritty, kind of hard edge? No, no, I mean, it's just, um, you know, we let everybody write just whatever they're interested in writing. Well, good, good. And then they're ready to go right into yeah. the journalism program afterwards. Good for you. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Alan Bronstein. And we welcome the Wildcats and Captain Tim Bichet. Hiya, Tim. Hello. Um, you are also involved in your school paper, but not as a news reporter or editor. You're the business manager. Yeah, I'm in charge of advertising and money and the funding for our paper. Okay, so how do you go about seeking out advertising for the paper? Um, it's mostly the writers, everyone kind of assumes that role is to go out to businesses and sometimes we get contacted. We got contacted by a movie producer doing a Hillary Duff movie, wanted to take out an ad, so. Oh, wait, great, great, great. And you've been playing soccer since you were five years old. Yeah, right now I'm playing for a club in uh, San Carlos. How's it doing? Uh, not good. <laughs> Honesty is a great thing, Tim. I hope it does better for you. And in the center spot, Tom Gariffo, whose brother Jim um, was the self-professed heartthrob of the Quiz Kids last year, for, for three years, I believe. Yeah. So you're starting, in, uh, the, you're continuing the Gariffo tradition. Well, sort of. Now I understand, you know, both teams are wearing really cool t-shirts. You're in the school band, and last night you were playing in a game, but it was also your responsibility to get the t-shirts. What was the problem with, you ran into some difficulty. Well, at first we uh, wanted to get the t-shirts, so we emailed, uh, well, the office, essentially, who, uh, and they had them last year and gave it to us for free. Mm -hmm. But this year they went to, like, a parent who had them for the Athletic Boosters Club. So last night at the game during halftime, well, 
during the band's break time at least, I had to go with uh, the alternate and we found the uh, shirts and I was able to persuade them into giving them to me. Ah, the haggler. Well, good for you. They look great. Kevin Irish, you're a sophomore and um, you're involved in so many things you say you really don't have any fun. I have fun, just no time. No time for fun. Yeah. So you create fun out of the things you get to do. Well, you do some interesting things. You're on the robotics team. Yeah. And they've got some good things coming up this year. Mm -hmm. You play soccer as well. How long have you been playing soccer? Long time, eight years, something like that. Eight years, that's good. And you are, uh, you take Latin. Mm -hmm. Latin's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, let's give a big hand to your coaches, Samir Malouf and Wesley Irish. Veni Vidi Vici, thus spake our mighty judge, Mr. Frank Sabodi. <laughs> we are having so much fun down here, and you know, if you would like to come down and be a member of our live studio audience, all you have to do is call us at 650-637-1936, and we will send you free tickets. So be sure you do that. Meanwhile, stay tuned, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, let's pick up the pace. It's time to play the lightning round. The score is 40 to 10. In this round, you're playing on your own for your team. The black boxes in front of you contain a buzzer. If you buzz in after hearing a question, for the first, the first person to buzz in gets to answer the question, give me the right answer, score 10 points. Give me the wrong answer, the other team gets to collaborate, possibly steal those points away from you. Now, if you buzz in before I complete the question, you will have to answer with the information I've given you so far. Give me the wrong answer, and I will repeat the whole question for the other team before they collaborate. Back and forth will go until the buzzer signals the end of the round. Good luck, teams. First question. It is fitting that he titled his first collection of poetry, Poetical Sketches, as his original training was as an engraver. What poet achieved fame during his lifetime with his poem, The Tiger? No, I'm sorry, Tim, that's not correct. You can steal. Westmore. Um, Walt Whitman. William Blake. Gottfried Leibniz introduced the modern notation used today, replacing the S, which originally meant sum. What is this mathematical concept that, when applied to a function, can give total area, volume, and mass? We're looking for an integral. Until 1954 and the defeat of Dien Bien Phu, France had holdings in Indochina of three modern-day nations, all of which fell under communist rule in the post-colonial era. Name any of those nations of Southeast Asia. Yes, Alfred. Vietnam. Vietnam, Cambodia, or Laos. Not to be confused with a Saturday night church service, to use it, one must know for a molecule the number of single, double, and triple bonds, and if it is charged. What is this theory, abbreviated by five letters, that helps predict the shapes? Yes, um, Melanie. V S P E R. Can I accept that? I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. You can steal, gentlemen. V S P R E. No, it's V S E P R. Vesper. Valence shell electron pair repulsion. Next question. Angry Federalists called it Mr. Madison's War. New England was especially hurt by it because much income came from illegal foreign trade during the fighting. What was this conflict which began with, uh, because of British impressment of American sailors? The War of 1812. It won't get called when the team who does it is shorthanded because of a penalty. What is this rule in ice hockey that occurs when a team shoots the puck down the length of the ice? Icing. That's right, Tim. It consists of two bodies, the House of Representatives and the House of Counselors, and its responsibilities include the election of the Prime Minister. What is this Japanese legislative body that has nothing to do with weight loss? Alfred. Atkins. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Atkins, no. Jenny Craig. <laughs> 
The National Jenny Craig of Japan. We call it the Diet. Oh, okay. With over 5 million users running it as a screensaver, helping to analyze data from the Arecibo Radio Telescope. What? Uh, yes. Said I at home? That is right, said I at home. According to Shakespeare, he wakes up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night and sighs, uneasy rest the head that wears the crown. This is because what Lancaster King featured in three plays usurped the throne in 1399 and spent his whole reign fighting to keep it. Henry? Henry who? The fifth. That's right! <laughs> According to the laws of thermodynamics, it can never be reached because Noah's system is 100% of yes, Tom. Absolute zero. You are right. And Melanie agrees. They typically describe a moment in time and generally focus on nature. Considered a subset of Renga. What is this form of Japanese poetry that f Thank you? That's right, Tim. Oh, that signals the end of the round. Let's look at the score. Hold on. Westmore has 30, and Woodside's in the lead with 80 points. Okay, we'll come right back. The point values are about to double, so don't go away. Okay, let's see if the Rams can catch up as we play the Extreme Lightning Round. Play is the same gang, but the point values are doubled. Here we go. Its coastline extends along Bulgaria, Romania, the Ukraine, Turkey, and a few former Soviet republics. What sea did the... Caspian yes, Sea? I'm sorry? The Caspian Sea? No, I'm sorry, Alfred. What sea did the Greeks use to call the hospitable sea a large body of water near Istanbul? Mediterranean? The Black Sea. When applied to a cell, this term means all the chemical processes taking place within. What is this term meaning the uptake and digestion of food and the disposal of waste? Melanie. Digestion? No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. You can steal. <coughs> Cellular respiration? Res Metabolism. Oh. Israel's Labour and Likud parties are two of the biggest parties in the parliament. By what name is this 100-member assembly known? The Knesset. Because of their vagueness and refusal to commit, what alternate name was bestowed upon the American Party, which ran one presidential candidate, Millard Fillmore, in 1856? You'll hate this, the Know Nothing Party. Cosine gives a value of one when evaluated at it, but sine and tangent are both zero at what degree angle measurement? Zero. That's right, Tim, zero. Donizetti based his opera Lucia de Lammermoor on the Gothic novel The Bride of Lammermoor by this author. author. <coughs> Name this English writer whose story of the rivalry between the Ashtons and Ravenswood is not as well known as his Ivanhoe. Melanie. Um, Walter Scott. That's right, Sir Walter Scott. <laughs> After claiming it had documents incriminating President Bush for his tawdry service in the National Guard, what network was embarrassed? Yes. That is right. In the 1950s, uncontrollably violent or emotional patients were sometimes given this operation. Lobotomy? That's right, Tim. The Argentines call them the Islas Malvinas, but we know them better by their English name. Name these islands with capital Stanley, the subject of a short war in 1981. I'm sorry, uh, it's the Falkland Islands. The increased number of cases of cancer in Scandinavia, Russia, and the Ukraine can all be traced in part to this disaster at Chernobyl. Chernobyl. I'm sorry, uh, Tim buzzed in and he said Chernobyl, so you gotta be careful when I, when I wait to call your name. That goes to Woodside. The play takes place in Salem in 1692. The Crucible. Yes, Tim. <laughs> According to Christian Huygens, the bob of a pendulum clock follows what sort of curve known by mathematicians as the curve of fastest descent? No, I'm sorry, Nathan, the cycloid curve. It was developed in part due to the observations of Brahe, Brahe that indicated that the velocity of planets is not constant. What law of physics states that the line from a star to a planet sweeps out equal areas in equal time? Kep 
Hitler's second law. Typically, central banks either commit to policies of low unemployment or price stability. In other words, keeping this down. What signifies a decline in purchasing power and a general rise in the level of prices? Inflation. That's right, Kevin. Sir Walter Scott lifted this term from Sir Walter Raleigh to describe an era of chivalry, war, and dynastic intrigue from 1455 to 1487. What civil war's name refers to the floral badges of the two main factions, red and war roses? That's right, Nathan. You can use a burette to add a reagent to an Erlenmeyer, to an Erlenmeyer flask and use a pH indicator to determine when the reaction has reached its end point. What is this method? Titration. That's right, Melanie. During a game against Oakland, pitcher Frank Francisco responded to a heckler by throwing a chair. As a result, he and several others on the relief staff of what team? Texas Rangers. That's correct. When a mushroom cloud rose above the countryside of this nation in September of 2004? North Korea. That's correct. That signals the end of the game. Let's look at the score. Hold on. Woodside, uh, Westmore has 130. Woodside has 200 and wins the game. <laughs> All right, Rams, you played very well. I wish you all the best of luck in this year. And we will see you in our second round, Woodside. So keep practicing, and you don't go away. You're going to come watch us every week or come down and see us live. Your choice. See you then. The following underwriters help to make this program possible. SBC. The San Mateo Credit Union. Wells Fargo. And Oracle. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers. And the Burlingame Scottish Rite of Freemasonry.